Hey everybody, Rich with PCC. Hey, I want to talk to you today about PC-based automation. Uh, so you hear different terminologies in the market, um, but basically what we're talking about is controlling your system via something that is, is running on the board a PC or an embedded PC, uh, as opposed to a, a traditional uh, PLC or hardware-based PLC. Uh, so just want to get into a little bit of the history um, why you might want to use it, and then also what the Siemens advantages are to using uh, their PC-based automation uh, solution. So first of all, I'd like to tackle why isn't PC-based automation much more popular? And that, that story actually goes back quite a ways. Uh, if we look back in the market, back into the, into the 90s, uh, PC-based automation attempted to, to, to kind of take over the PLC market, so to say. There was, there was some people out there that said, oh, you know, we're not even going to need hardware PLCs in the future. Everything's going to be based on a, on a PC. Well, the problem with that was back then, any type of control solutions that were uh, implemented on a PC, most of them were based on Windows. Uh, so the trouble is if you've, if you've anybody's owned a PC or worked with a PC, you've had your own difficulties when it comes to the Windows operating system, you know, whether it be, you know, kind of loading in the PC and it getting it getting loaded down and, and locking up on you. Maybe you've had the good old blue screen incident. Uh, well, we don't want that happening with our control systems. And that's what that's what people experienced uh, when when this technology first hit the market uh, way back when. Uh, interestingly enough, there's some manufacturers that still use this type of technology and depend on Windows to be able to run. Uh, a software-based PLC, uh, but that's absolutely not the case with Siemens, and I'll explain that a little bit more uh, later. So when we talk about the implementation of, of uh, PCs uh, you know, uh, for control solution uh, purposes, for, for real-time control of machines, uh, we have to think a lot about how that software, how that controller software is implemented uh, on, on the hardware. Because uh, we need it to be dependable, right? We can't, we can't have our control system go down because Windows decides that it's not ready to operate at this particular point in time. Uh, so that's kind of where Siemens differentiates themselves. And so when we talk about the, the Siemens software controller platform, uh, that, that, that controller is actually adding uh, or it's operating on a virtual uh, environment or what Siemens calls their hypervisor. So you are uh, essentially separating the Windows operating system from the operating system that the controller is running on. So when it comes to Windows, if Windows needs to do something, whether it, it takes up a bunch of resources on the Windows side or whether you know there's actually an error and it needs to shut down, that does not affect the, the control side or the PLC operation of this system. So that's a, that, that's a big differentiator and something that not a lot of people are aware of and, and kind of stay away from that PC-based solution because of that, you know, that, that uneasiness about, well, what's going to happen in Windows is going to affect my control system. Uh, that is that is absolutely not the case. Uh, another area where, where Siemens shines in this area is uh, it's the same look and feel as their standard PLC. Uh, so if I take a look here on my screen behind me, I actually have a, a, a monitor that is connected to this PC-based automation platform. So we've got a hardware-based PLC. It's running the Siemens software controller. Uh, and then on the, on the monitor, which this is just a TV, so I'm, I'm looking at the operation of that PLC. So if you're familiar with an S7-1500 hardware PLC, you know that you've got that color screen on the front where you can see the CPU status, you can see its IP address. If there's an error, you can dive into the diagnostics. Well, it's the same situation uh, when we talk about something that is, that is run on a PC or when we use the Siemens uh, software controller. It all gets programmed in the TIA portal software, just like your hardware PLC. PLCs do. So there's not a lot of changes with regards to how you handle things today, but there's a lot of functionalities that it can buy you. So, so what are those things? Why, why would I look in this direction? Well, first of all, it's open, right? So if we're on a PC-based platform, uh, that means that we've got the openness of anything that runs on Windows you know, I may be able to have that interact with my PLC program. And we've seen that in many applications in the past where customers had some type of custom code that needed to run, but they needed that custom code to interact with the PLC program directly. Well, this platform allows you to do that. Uh, there's an open development kit option so that you can write those interfaces and implement that functionality to have the, the third-party application running in Windows interact with your control solution uh, directly instead of trying to exchange data and, and, and do it that way. Um, it's also very flexible, so you can combine the functionalities. As you can see here, I've got this is a PC-based controller. 
I have some I.O. attached directly to it. I could also be uh, networked out to other I.O. and drives and, and other items on my automation network, just like you would uh, with, a, with a standard S7-1500 PLC. Uh, I also can com combine HMI functionality. So again, as you can see here, I have an HMI runtime running in the background here. And that's, again, something that you could implement. And from a services perspective, that can be very helpful because now instead of having a hardware-based HMI that actually contains a program that you have to maintain, Maintain. everything resides inside of the PC box and then that runtime is just connected via a monitor connection so we've got our, our good old HDMI cable run to our TV and we can visualize that HMI application so now if that that monitor gets damaged in production or something happens to it uh, and you need to replace it you're not worried about program management you're simply just worried about getting a monitor replaced which is a lot easier to handle uh, when you know when we talk about the flexibility of a monitor versus a hardware based HMI also, when it comes to, to combining functionality and that, that flexibility, uh, we talk about being able to do uh, database operations. Uh, I've run into applications where the customer actually houses their SQL database on the PC, the same PC that is also running their application from a control perspective. So now you're able to combine those functionalities and do, do your data logging directly to a database that now IT can come in and grab, grab that information and bring that into their, uh, their reporting systems. Speed is also a determining factor. When we talk about especially speed versus cost, you know, as you get into those very high-end PLCs, they tend to get pretty doggone expensive. Well, the software controller, based on the CPU that you use, based on the PC that you use, the software controller licensing cost doesn't change, but you can put that thing on a PC that has higher and higher levels of performance. So, you know, where you know where you might typically need to go to that really high-end PLC that's going to cost quite a bit of money, you might actually be able to save some cost. And, and still get the processing performance that you need on the PC-based platform. The last thing that I want to talk about, and it's kind of unique to the times that we live in right now, and it's delivery. Uh, you might be finding that your hardware-based PLCs are really tough to get your hands on in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, what I found in several uh, situations recently, I could actually get a PC-based solution quicker than I could get a hardware-based PLC solution. And one of the reasons for that is because there can be a lot of different form factors of the hardware that you use. I happen to have the Siemens Open Controller, which is in the ET200 SP IO form factor. So it's a smaller controller with an embedded operating system, uh, pretty compact. But I can also run this software-based solution on their box PCs. So the, the 200 series, the 400 series, 600, 800, it doesn't matter which uh, IPC I pick. So with that, it's easier to get a system up and running quickly because I can get at those products a lot quicker. Quicker. So again, a little bit uh, unique to the times that we live in right now, uh, but maybe that can help you out with getting your applications deployed. So that's about it. Uh, if you've got any questions, please give me a ring. I'd be happy to go over the Siemens software controller uh, solution in more detail with you, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.